This is Twit. Anaheim, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hey, David. Hey, Leo. How are you, sir? Wonderful. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for taking my call, sir. Hey, I have a Netgear N600 uh, gigabit router and called Netgear recently to see about upgrading the firmware on that puppy. Got quite a few things connected to it, cable modems and a couple of docking stations and, you know, yada, yada. Uh, but my support agreement had, had expired on it. It's kind of an old modem or uh, router. It's like 2010 but have been operating on the impression that updates would be automatically going to it, so I hadn't been real concerned about it. Yeah. But Unfortunately, older routers are all manual updates. It's very rare. Uh, the okay. newer routers, when you buy a newer router, many of them, most of them now do automatic updates because that's so important. The good news is you don't have to have a service agreement to update a router. You just have to log. You know, you log into the router with your web browser. Right. Correct. Whatever it is, 192.168.1.1 or 10.0.0.1, whatever the address is, you I hope have a password on it. You'll enter the password. And then usually it's in the advanced section. You'll look for check firmware. You want to see what the current version is and then look for an update. Sometimes it'll tell you, uh, you know, and sometimes you might have to look on the website. But almost always, even if the router is long out of warranty, which that is, they'll be if there's newer firmware, you'll be able to download it and apply it. And, man, that's yeah. important. Yeah, what I found curious was two things. One is that, uh, you know, I was talking about uh, whether or not I should replace it, just given the age. I mean, I don't Yeah, I would. Yeah, old. yeah, and I would. they were really adamant. And the only time I've ever experienced this, they were really adamant about not upgrading, especially when I mentioned, you know, the mesh technology that I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want that stuff. No, no, no. Keep your old router. No. <laughs> yeah, they were pushing just to do the support again. Yeah. Netgear, by the way, this is the irony, sells a mesh router. Yeah, I... And, wait a minute, you were paying them for a support agreement? No, no, I, I didn't. It Good. had expired, but they, that's what they were pushing me to get. Oh, yeah, that's an annuity for them. That's <laughs> that's oh, a yeah. check every yeah. month. Wait yeah, a minute. Like, so, is tell me, the is this a business-specific router? What's the router again? It's a Netgear N600. N600. Huh. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know they sold <laughs> uh, uh, support agreements on this thing. There's, it's, I mean, that's rare because a router is really a consumer. This is a consumer device. Yeah, it is. And they wanted like for two years, it was like 230 bucks. Oh, please. Give me a break. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, for what? They don't even automatically update it. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't buy into that. So I wanted to, to kind of pick your brain on, uh, I've heard you talk again about mesh technology, but yeah. I'm not sure where to start on that uh, as far as, as a brand or, you know, just a starting point. Um, so let me talk about what these things are. You may not need one. How big is your uh, is the area that you want to light up? Uh, 15, 1,600 feet. Okay, that's fairly small. Usually a single router is enough. Uh, do you have issues with slow uh, Wi-Fi or lots of buffering when you watch video, things like that? We do when uh, when the, we're doing like, uh, you know, Hulu or... Yeah, know, if you're watching Hulu and the kid's watching Netflix and upstairs grandma's watching Amazon Prime, well, of course, because you, you only have a certain amount of bandwidth. You can't... No router will magically improve that. I don't think you need a mesh unless you have dead spots. Uh, you, but I think you do need a new router. Every few years, you should get a new router. You can get a new Netgear. They're great. Or, or Asus. I really like Asus routers. In the mesh brands, they're a little more expensive because you usually get more than one unit. Eero, which is a sponsor I like and use at home, uh, is very good. Any of those would be fine. Probably just a new Netgear. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. There's a... I had, to, I had to break. Sorry. There's a um, oh, sure. there's a website called The Wire Cutter, New York Times yeah. website, that reviews uh, Wi-Fi routers. And okay. I found them to be very reliable. In fact, I know the guy that does their reviews. So, uh, oh, you know, they would give you some good recommendations. In fact, their number one router is a Netgear R7000. Oh, okay. So well, nothing wrong with that. Uh, you don't need, with 1,500 square, square feet... Unless you've got 
is it upstairs, downstairs, or is it flat? No, flat. If it's flat and you don't have like metal walls, probably yeah. a single router is fine. Okay, cool. I'll yeah. check that out. Yeah. Hey, Leo, I appreciate it as always. Thank you so hey, much. Hey, it's great to talk to you. Thanks for the call. See uh -huh. you. Take care. Bye bye. Synology is an excellent TP link. They've recommended for years as the budget pick. The um, Netgear R7000 Nighthawk is 160 bucks. That's great. That's probably a really good choice.